Look at it. It don't cushion your fall. <laughs> Why would they cushion your fall? Yo, what's up, guys? My name is B-Boy Kobe. I'm representing From the Ground Up, and I'm from the island of Guam. Today, I got the number ones V2 by the Dizzy Thread Sneaker Company. And this is the first B-Boy sneaker made specifically for breaking. So I bought this shoe mainly because I'm a person who needs like good, like really, really good B-Boy shoes to be able to break the best. Not because of like, because I suck, maybe I do suck, but specifically because I want to portray a certain feeling when I dance. I feel like looking good is almost as important as being good because you can't look trash and be good but you can be good but you still look like trash i'm saying today i'm going to be trying these out for the first time and i'm super excited to see what it's all about because for me when i was looking this shoe up there there was really no like review about it. there's there's really no, no one saying much about it except oh yeah they're good oh yeah they're not good whatever so today i want to give a unbiased review for everyone who does watch it so if you can tell I've already pre-laced these things to how I, I like them because uh, generally these laces kind of um, don't cooperate so the shorter they are the easier they are to cooperate but also a cool feature about the shoe is if you don't want to put your laces you could, you could slide them in here but um, I prefer to have laces out I just think it looks pretty sick <laughs> get this other one on <sighs> so lace them up lace them up lace them yeah see that perfect center still matter all right let's talk sizing on these guys I did get half a size down because I wanted them to break out into my foot if I did get a, a true to size I'd still be very happy with it you know just depends on you if you just want to have a regular fitted just get true to size and if you're gonna rock them casually, true to size is the way to go. point guys uh, so the number one retail at $100 USD and that's before shipping and taxes depending where you are that will differ I made my point clear that I'm judging this based on a b-boy perspective not as someone just buying the shoe to casually rock I'm trying to break in it hard today you know it's the first time I got it so I'm breaking it in you know I'm putting it through tests and I'm seeing what and what I don't like about it but overall I did not find anything much that I didn't like about it because generally they were like they were dope tried them from tops tried them footwork tried them power tried them freezes they feel good all the way through they're not too heavy and they're not too light that they feel like they're not durable they're durable enough and like I said pretty much about a B-boy version of a, a steel toe on your foot right there. So obviously it's a little bit later, cleaned up and everything, and I'm just gonna close the video out here. Just wanted to say that the shoe is super, super dope, super, super solid. 
If you want to hit me up with any questions about the shoe, feel free to DM me or even hit up Dizzy himself about the shoe. He's the creator of the shoe, so he knows everything about it. Hope I covered everything from how I feel about them to the price to the sizing. I'm definitely going to cop another pair because I need one for when I battle because that thing is going to get dirty hella fast because I, I practice outside every day. But um, I'm not a content creator. I don't make these. So this is a super honest and unbiased review, you know. So I just hope you enjoyed and yeah, peace.